The moment has finally arrived. I cannot move forward with my life until I hear the answer to this question. The answer to the cosmos existence is about to be revealed. Prepare yourselves, ladies and gentlemen. Fresh out of prison, baby. Fresh out of prison, dog. Yeah. This is the most common question I get. I get okay. this question every day, and I'm about to answer it for everybody right now. Uh -huh. No, I did not have braces in prison. I got them once I got out of prison. On the second day I was out, I was like, I want to fix my teeth. I went to the dentist. And then I went straight to the orthodontist. Let's go. And I got a winner for a go, whole nother baby. year. Fresh out of prison, baby. Fresh out of prison. I know a lot of y'all might be lost as to what this clip is really about. It's really about nothing. The dude's fresh out of prison. I love his energy. You know, those are the kind of inmates that you're having such a good time with them in your cell that when you get caught like tattooing or something, they cuff both y'all up. When they take you to the hole, y'all are looking at each other like, man, you're my best friend, bro. I'll see you around. It's always the worst when they split you up and you have a great cellmate. But I told everyone in the clip, I do not believe the dude got braces in prison. A lot of people ask me, can you get braces in prison? I don't think you can. Maybe if your money's right. Or they could be having someone on the outside as well uh, complaining to the dentist department of the prison that they're in saying, you know, I'll pay for everything. I'll pay for everything. Just make sure he gets his braces, you know? I don't know. Only thing I've ever seen in prison when it comes down to teeth is getting them pulled. People say you get your cavities filled. I ain't seen that before. I told him I had a cavity. He said we could pull it. <laughs> I got into a fight in jail one time and dude uppercutted me and it cracked my back molar, right? They didn't, they didn't try to uh, fix that one bit. <laughs> they just pulled that jammy. So now... I'm missing a roller. Oh, yeah. Yep. Don't fight in jail, ladies and gentlemen. Now, for anybody that's new to this channel, if you made it this far into the video and you're still here, I think it's time for you to hit that like, subscribe, notification bell because you're obviously interested in my content. <laughs> obviously. If that first clip didn't get you going, let's talk about how to make a blunt rap in prison then. That should definitely get you to subscribe, right? I need to get, look, I ain't playing, all right? I ain't playing, look at this shit. I need a gold plaque to go under there. I need y'all's help. I need a gold plaque. I got a stunt on my family, my kids and stuff with that gold plaque. All right, we got a clip from at d.reese25 on TikTok. And the clip that we just seen before this one came from, I believe, ADJ0077 on TikTok, if you want to go follow him with the braces, but... This dude right here is about to show us how to make a blunt rap in prison. For anybody that don't know what a blunt rap is, it is a, 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 you know, a cigar rap that has flavor to it. People usually roll up their Mary J in it, you know. And in prison, I've done something similar to what this guy's done besides adding flavors to it. But uh, they have black and miles in prison. And these black and miles, people used to dissect them, take out the, the cancer papers, what they call it. And it would be left with just one sheet of uh, the paper from the Black and Mild. And we used to put two of those together. So it would be like this long. And we would have like a Harry Potter wand length uh, joint or blunt, I guess you could say, uh, in prison. And when I say blunt, it's nothing like a blunt size blunt. Uh, this is like a long pinner. <laughs> it is a long pinner joint. That's exactly what it is. You very rarely see people burned down in prison with those fat blunts, you know, them rapper blunts. You don't see that shit. Not only is it going to stink up the whole damn cell block, but it's a waste. You know, a majority of people, all it takes is a couple hits off of this little specks of dust to get right because your tolerance is so low in prison. But, all right, D. Reese, 25, let's see what you got, man. How to make a wrap in prison. I have a brown paper bag and instant coffee. Check this out. You take the brown paper bag and you cut a piece out, you know, about as big as a paper. You take instant coffee and get about a spoonful of it and put it in the bottom of a bowl or something. But you take water and you mix it with the coffee, just a little bit of water and make like a thick brown paste with it. And you take the paper and you roll it in it back and forth. So it looks like he's making a coffee flavored blunt wrap. Hmm. Then you take it out, you let it dry for about 10 minutes, and you got a paper. I mean, it's a cigar pretty much. Thinking about it now, after you done said it, uh, 
if I were to do it, I'd probably get the paper, get a little bit of water, uh, just very light bit of water, and then rub maybe uh, some Jolly Ranchers or Skittles down and paint it with that. That'd be a good little uh, blunt wrap, you know, like one of them, one of them blueberry Jolly Ranchers. Shit, very inventive though. I've never seen it done. Usually, the people that I've seen roll stuff up, they don't care about the taste. They just want to smoke it. You know, it's always nice to see inmates doing something wholesome with their time. Skits, videography, directing, pure 100% entertainment. And the acting in the next clip is just nothing less than superb. Just, just excellent acting. At Brebo underscore 20. How bet movies end. What does that mean? How bet movies end. Mike went to prison and became a mechanic. <laughs> White dudes always become the mechanics. They get in there and start working on anything and everything. Getting electrocuted three to four times a day. How do you get electrocuted on a handheld radio? How do you get electrocuted trying to fix a spine on a book, bruh? There ain't even no electricity. Somehow them prison electricians will find a way to get electrocuted. I remember one time, man, my homeboy was fixing something. I don't know what happened in there. I think it was an amplifier for a boombox or some shit. But damn. I mean, just out of nowhere, a cloud of smoke bellows out of his cell. It's just one of those potent-ass plastic, you know, metal type of burning smells. It was just, it was awful, man. <laughs> man poor Mike. Mike, man. They need to pay you more. They need to raise your minimum wage. Oh, Tyrone robbing all the prisoners. Why y'all gotta do Tyrone like that? Look at that grill he got, though. That shit's shining, boy. Look how he poses with a smile on his face. <laughs> hey, this is a good prison, man. What the hell they got in the background? They got certificates? You know, when I was in uh, the last prison I was in, I, I changed my bid around. You know, the first time I went in, uh, I was doing a lot of gambling, a lot of dirt, you know, doing people dirty and all kinds of shit. But the second go around, I was really being a productive inmate. You know, I was still gambling, of course, smoking a little bit. But uh, as far as being in the mix, I really wasn't it. You know, I had a ton of certificates, though, and I felt so proud to have them all. <laughs> and then I got to the streets and realized nobody gives two shits about them damn certificates. Them shits are still in my attic to this day. No one gave two flying fucks about them things. But this guy's, I don't know what kind of prison they're in, but it seems pretty damn chill. Got certificates in the background. Got little drawers and shit. This is a good prison. But at least they know Tyrone be robbing fools, huh? Junebug still arguing with his wife every time on the phone. Poor Junebug. Oh, why is there so many inmates named Junebug, man? What the hell is the relevance of Junebug? Why do people want to be called Junebug? I don't understand this. I've met probably 30 people named Junie, Junie Bug, Junie Cake, Junebug. I mean, you name it. What's going on in the month of June? And what the hell's going on with June bugs? I don't even like June bugs and things are creepy as shit. Those are the big bugs, right? With the big shells that look like uh, the aliens from uh, Starship Troopers that come out the ground. Y'all ever seen that movie? But June bugs on the phone arguing with his old lady. See, that's that's another reason why I would never want a cell phone because I'd be blowing my old lady's phone up all hours of the night. What are you doing? Where are you at? When you go to sleep, turn on that live Instagram feed. I want to watch that other side of the bed the whole time. Honestly, though, there's tons of people like this guy. I'm not saying this is how this guy is. Obviously, they're just acting, playing the part. But uh, people, man, they argue with their old ladies on the phone every single day. You can always see what kind of uh, conversation a person had uh, when they get off the phone. You know, especially the guys that you know have wives. <laughs> Some of those guys, they get off the phone looking like it might be the last hour on earth. And other guys will get off the phone, you know, more happy than they've ever been in their life because they had a good conversation. Their wife is doing what needs to be done. They have no worries in the world. One of the worst ways to be locked up is when you're in love with the wrong girl. And she has to sit out there in the streets and have a blast with the streets. Damn, those guys, man, they don't know what to do with themselves and lock up. But that was a good little reenactment.
A lot of people have asked me to do a video on Sweden's prison system because it's so sweet. But to be honest, I really could care less about a fancy prison. I'm not here to show people fancy, pretty, cute little prisons. I'm here to show you United States and its penitentiaries. And if you think Sweden's sweet, then you don't want to go to South Carolina. They got the laundry string up here. That's how you uh, dry your clothes back there in the dungeon. Uh, you got one boot over here. <laughs> this is a trashed out cell right here, man. These guys don't give a shit, but they're blowing blue. Is that a camera? God, that would be so horrible to have a camera in your cell. I've had one one time in my life, and I got the hell out that cell block as fast as possible. They got all these old newspaper clippings to block uh, the light. And remember I told y'all I got locked in a Satanist cell? And they had a uh, 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 damn chicken bone statue and shit they were doing weird shit with and smoking crack. Well, their light was covered in uh, something red. You know, so it made the whole cell red. And it was scary as hell, man.